My name is Anna Gitinji, like Sister Linda said. I am originally from Kenya, and I'm here this morning to share my healing and deliverance testimony. Praise God. Praise God. I became a member of Mount Hebron February of this year, and during the new members class, I heard about the healing and deliverance ministry. And I said, I need this because of what I've been through. But when the minister of God, Sister Jay Ackenbach, I don't know if she's here, when she stood up, there she is. Thank you, God. Um, when she stood up to talk about this ministry, I looked at her and I said, I don't think I want to do this because she's a white woman. I said, I don't want to pour out my heart to a white woman, but thank God for his spirit because Jesus, by his spirit said, you cannot use the standards of the world to judge my people. I am the sovereign God and I am no respecter of people. And whoever I choose to use, I will use them according to my will to fulfill my purpose. And so I repented and I said, God, I am going to go through with this. So I called her, she called me actually. Long story short, I end up up with two sessions. The first session was to heal me from childhood trauma because I grew up in a family where there was domestic violence. And let me tell you, that thing haunted me for a long time. But when I went to this healing and deliverance ministry, the Lord broke those chains of shame, of abandonment, of fear, of inferiority. God just broke them loose. And I thank God so much for what he did. The second session was about healing from historical trauma. This was the pain that was deep inside of me because of what my people suffered under European colonialism in Africa. The beatings, the torture, the deaths, the dispossessions, the pain that they went through was so much and it was inside of me. And when I came to America, that pain just became huge. When I learned about the horrors that my people went through under the institution of slavery. And I said, my God, when is this ever going to end? And so during the second session, as I was pouring out my heart to God and the ministers of God, Sister Jay and Sister uh, Denise Peraway, I don't know if she's here. They were praying for me and they encouraged me to release the pain, to release this suffering to the Lord and to forgive those who've hurt me. And I said, how can I do this, God? If I forgive them, they go free. If I let go of my brain, I'm going to be betraying my people. Lord, I can't do this. And they continue to pray for me. And finally, I said, Lord, I surrender. I give you this pain. I forgive these people. And I got healing. And I got deliverance. And I got the Lord speaking to me. And he said, I am a righteous judge. Vengeance is mine. I will repay. Trust me. Trust me. Just as I trusted the Lord for my salvation, just as I trusted the Lord for my healing and for feeling with the Holy Ghost, He can. I can trust Him to be a righteous judge. His justice is righteous. Glory to His glorious name. Amen. you heard that testimony today and I'm just believing that the spirit of the living God is making that real to somebody right now the sacrifices of the Lord is a broken heart and a contrite spirit that means I can't set myself above God if God says vengeance is mine I will repay if he tells us he's a God of justice, and he does. If he tells us he's our shield, our defender, then we ought to believe him. What's, what makes us think our hatred can supersede the power of God? Oh, beloved, how can we call ourselves Christians, but we hate somebody? Can you see the freedom on honor? Would you lay your whatever it is down to receive your freedom? It doesn't matter what color, who has done what to you. The righteous can run unto him and be safe. Run into him and be safe, beloved. 
That's a powerful testimony. Father, we just believe your word to just go penetrate the hearts of every hearer. We would receive it. We thank you for using honor. We thank you for healing and deliverance. We thank you for Jay and Denise. We thank you for the ministers who give up themselves to be used by you. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. Glove, we are yours. And we rejoice in you. Today, Father, bless us with your healing in Jesus' name. Amen.